Hey guys, it's Wendy. I'm coming at you with another unboxing video. This is actually a very unexpected one. If you've been keeping up with my channel, then you would know that I recently got very into mechanical keyboards. I currently have two. And I actually been following this keyboard company called Azio on Instagram for a little bit. They're known for their beautiful retro typewriter looking keyboards. And I just randomly entered one of their recent giveaways and actually won, which I was legitimately so excited for. So I just received in the mail the keyboard that they sent me and I figured I would unbox it for you guys and do a little bit of a typing test later on as well. So here we go. Wow, it's actually really heavy and has quite a bit of weight to it. Okay, so here's the keyboard I received. It's called the Retro Compact Keyboard or RCK. This is in the color Posh. It's a rose gold copper color with white leather. So the front just says vintage typewriter, Bluetooth slash USB backlit mechanical keyboard. So a bunch of different features going on. All I can say so far that the packaging is stunning. I know that that is not, you know, always an indicator of a high quality product, but I'm very impressed with this packaging right now. Wow. Okay, so here's the keyboard and it comes with a bunch of other things as well a dust bag, a type C cord, a little duster cleaner. This is so cute. These are the stands for the bottom of the keyboard. And then we also have this armrest, which I think was such an amazing, luxurious, functional touch because I've actually noticed this a lot typing on my current mechanical keyboards. My arms slash wrists kind of press against this sharp edge and it does irritate my arms after a while. So I think that this is amazing to have this. And then we have this, I'm assuming is a manual. Wow, everything about this unboxing experience is just luxurious. This is a little warranty card that comes with it and the front feels like leather. It's this really soft material and it just says it's a certificate of authenticity and some info about warranty. And here's a little guy that comes with it. Right off the bat, just looking at the keyboard, this is the most beautiful keyboard I have ever seen in my entire life. Like I mentioned, it is hefty. Like there is a nice weight to it. The leather feels really soft. There are a couple of other colors in which the material on the top of the keyboard is wood veneer. I got the color in which it is leather. You can see it's super shiny in the light and the back is just some thick plastic. It does have their logo right here and it also supports Mac OS, iOS, Windows, and Android. So you could connect this to your phone and my iPad, we can test that out too. Okay, so in case you were wondering, this is technically a true mechanical keyboard. On the website, it says that the keys are supposed to be tactile and clicky. If you're not familiar with the different types of switches, a tactile switch just means that there's a little bit of feedback, basically a bump that you will feel part way when you press a key down. It's very slight though. Some people prefer to have that bump slash feedback when they type and others don't. So it's just really up to preference and there are a bunch of different types of switches that accommodate for that. So it looks like these switches, they say it's the ASIO type lit mechanical switch by Kale. So Kale is a switch brand that's actually pretty popular and is known to have some really nice switches. So it looks like these switches are made by Kale, but specifically for ASIO. It says that there is a six key rollover, which just means that if you click six keys, at a time, it will actually register all six of those keys. So I've actually never tried a clicky switch before. I've only tried linear. So I have um, some Gateron red switches and I've also tried Cherry MX brown switches, which are tactile switches, but they're not tactile clicky. It's kind of like a separate category. So I'm really excited. The keys right now on the keyboard are for the Mac layout and they also have the replacement ones if you're using a PC. I believe to remove the keycaps, you just pull up. So yeah, super, super easy to remove. So that is what the switch looks like. It is 
a box with a large cross in the middle. I do find it really interesting because most mechanical keyboard switches protrude out of the board, but these are just built in, which is an interesting design. All right, so enough rambling. Let's try this baby out. Okay, so it sounds so clean and it definitely feels pretty different typing on this. This is just me getting used to the tactile clicky switches and also these circle keys. My fingers, I feel like are missing the keys a little bit more, but that's just me getting used to it. One thing I do find interesting is that there is sort of a variance in terms of sound depending on which key you're hitting. So if you notice, for example, if I click any of the keys on the side, you can see that there's a, a variation in pitch, but then all the letter keys sound pretty much the same. Let me bring out one of my other keyboards. Okay, so for example, this is the Ann Pro 2. It's a very popular keyboard and there's definitely less of a variation in sounds for the different keys. So you see how all the ones on the side sound basically the same. As you could hear, there is just a very large variance in the different pitches, I would say, of the keys. So just like an interesting thing to note. So as I mentioned, it did come with these extra keyboard feet. And this is just so you can, you know, change the height of the keyboard. I do enjoy the fact that they give you the option to do that. For most mechanical keyboards in which you have the option of changing the height, you just have these pop out feet. And for these, you actually have to manually remove the feet that come with the keyboard and replace it. So it just requires a little bit more effort, but it's really not that big of a deal. So very easy to remove. So here is the port that you would plug in the type C cable. This is a very small thing, but I will say that most keyboards will have this port on the side because it's just easier in terms of placement on your desk to have this on the side and kind of plugging in the cable somewhere over here. When it's in the middle, it just, it makes it a little bit more tougher in terms of where you can place the keyboard if that makes sense. Some people don't mind it, but other people that is, you know, a big deal. So there's a switch here that goes between Bluetooth, USB, and then just off. And then one between Mac and PC. I'm going to switch it to Bluetooth mode. It is backlit, which is pretty cool because I feel like a lot of retro style keyboards, they try to keep it very retro and they don't include backlighting of the keys. I don't really use the lighting on the keyboards. I think it's super cool to have, but on the day-to-day, -day, I don't really use it. I think that the hue of this though is stunning. It's this really warm toned orange, but it's not a bright fluorescent orange. It looks almost like an amber. That's how I describe it. And I believe you can adjust the brightness and then you can just turn it off. On the website, it says that the battery for this keyboard with the backlight off, the usage time is nine months. And with the backlight on, it's about one to two months. So this keyboard has 81 keys. So that's closest to a 75% keyboard layout. I love the fact that it's compact, but it still has the arrow keys. I just personally use arrow keys pretty frequently in work. So I'm attempting to pair the keyboard with my iPad. The way you pair, you just click function and one of the number keys. And then after the Bluetooth key finishes flashing, click function and the Bluetooth key. Oh, I see it. It just showed up. You obviously compare this with a computer 
as well. I'm not gonna test that out because I'm assuming if it works for my iPad, it will work very well on my computer. So my overall thoughts are that this is an absolutely beautiful keyboard. It's definitely an item that you're gonna wanna display on your desk for all to see. I think there's definitely more functional keyboards out there. You're probably not gonna be able to type the quickest on this keyboard, but it is a really unique piece. So I think it just kind of comes down to what you envision using this keyboard for. That's gonna be it for today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.